Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So continuing our journey making like Battlefield 2042 map guides. Today we're here with one of the biggest maps in 2042, the Hourglass. This map was really controversial, nobody liked it. And now after the rework, I believe the map is, it's just better than some of the maps in the game. It's not the worst yet, in my opinion. There are just worse maps in this. Apart from that, it's a very wide open map. It's a huge one. Like playing here isn't easy, but the good thing is, this map is versatile. I'm going to tell you why in just a few minutes. But before that, let's take a look at the sites. And we're going to start off with G site. So this right side of the map, sectors G, F, and E. There's really not much action around here. And you won't really come across these sites that often. As a matter of fact, most of the times, 20 to 30% of the chaos goes on around here. And nothing more. So about G site, there's really not much you can do. There's this building. It has two floors and the only thing I can tell you about this is having a small hideout like this. If you want to just crouch somewhere capturing the site or you want to hurt enemies not being able to find you, this is the place. And these guys will not have any sort of advantage over you because no matter what they do, you're going to see them first all the time. The stairs already go up into here. You can also hide yourself around here. This is not a bad idea, but the one downstairs is just perfect. What I do all the time is I try to hold my higher ground in the second floor. I'm going to play around here so anyone that spawns from back there or maybe even the right side all the way here i'll be able to cut them down easier but compared to when i'm down there like in the first floor do make sure i always have eyes on around here most of the times people just spawn from the right side of this building around that watchtower and sometimes just around here back there that's what you should take care of all right moving on to f site another wide open site uh there's something about this site you should know uh you see all these trucks around here you can actually go prone and move under them and then crouch you can crouch out easily but for going inside you need to be prone and there's really one interesting thing about this you can shoot people from under here they probably will have no idea where you are but once they do getting out of here is going to be hard and it takes time so if someone knows you're there you're probably dead so that's an advantage right before you shoot them as long as they know you're here you're going to be in a disadvantage so always tread carefully uh do make sure to use this but when you do it's going to be a hell of a surprise for them you can also get on top of this sometimes being up somewhere ridiculous like this will be just uh, interesting to do because simply people won't expect you to be here that's the key i've also seen people going prone in these bushes like this and believe me they're really hard to see it's it's really going to be hard for you to just come around here and see someone in, in these bushes going prone so that's something you can also do what i would try to avoid is playing around in the middle of the site because there's literally just no cover and this is not a good place for you to be but places like this for example, this is great because, well, you have cover from both sides. People don't expect you to be here. You can just get them off guard and all those kind of stuff. So that's how you're going to play this site. Also, when people spawn, they're probably spawning from back there, the right side of the building and the left side of the building. Sometimes people spawn from back there and sometimes even behind those trucks. So all in all, there are so many spawn locations for this site. You should be always cautious about that. That's just the nature of a wide open map. Moving into E sector, people usually spawn from, again, right side of this building and the left side of it from back there most of the times. Sometimes people even get spawned from back there or behind those hills. So those are the spawn locations that you need to be taking care of. I've seen people going down like this, prone in these bushes. They're gonna be hard to detect. This is something you can do. I've seen people do it. It's really hard to counter, not gonna lie, because you don't really expect people to be here. And even if you do, it's gonna be so hard to see them. It's not gonna be that easy. They're gonna see you faster, definitely. So if they know how to shoot, you're dead. Due to the lack of cover that there is in this site, there's not a lot of places you can take cover in, but just places like this, with you being a little head glitch, it's not going to be bad. People coming from there will easily kill you. Well, you can cut down people that are coming from here. Also, places like this wouldn't be, be so bad. But yeah, generally speaking, it's a wide open site. It's really hard to play here. And yeah, places like this. This is a better place because... Well, you have eyes on almost all these spawn locations. Even if someone comes from here, you still have cover. So just keep in mind that there are places like this that you can play in. And don't really take it so seriously because these three sites are not really that important. You're not going to be here all day long. And most of the action is going to be taking place in the sectors in the left side of the map that we are going to take a look at now. So let's take a look at these sites and see what's going on there. And there's also verticality to this site, like most of the sites in this map. So you have to understand one important thing. People can spawn from all over the place you see from, from behind that truck all the way to around there 
like behind the other truck in the desert with no cover. The spawning in 2042 just sucks. You know it, I know it, and that's a fact. You can't do anything about it. That's something that you should be aware of. People can spawn from all over the place. So there's no specific place for it. Most of the times it's either here or just straight up behind that truck. So that's something to keep in mind. Most of the times what I do is I'm playing around here, right here, because like this, I can take on whoever's coming from back there, pushing here. Uh, I have solid cover. I can easily run behind other covers and all those kind of stuff. So this is a good place. But if you want a place to hurt people, this is gonna be the spot for you. Look at this. It's it's really going to be hard for them to find you. Most of 2042 players don't even know this place exists. And the ones that do will not be able to kill you if you know how to shoot. Okay, Because as soon as they drop, they're going to be dead. What's it going to take? Two bullets. And they're dead. So that's something you should consider. Also playing somewhere like this is interesting because... Have you ever seen someone playing here? Like right here, playing like this? No, I haven't seen it, honestly. So those are the places that you should be playing that are unexpected. This container is a place where usually a lot of people check first. So this is most likely a common place that you're gonna die at. What I would do instead is I'll try to play around here. If I just wanna be sneaky while playing around here, on the truck is, is a, a, a better idea just in general and keep in mind to avoid this watchtower especially if you're not a sniper and you don't know what you're doing because people can take you on from up those skyscrapers simply just from behind here on the bridge back there not a good place if you're not a sniper so no go up there and don't risk your life for nothing also this is a good covering place for people who spawn from back there or people who are pushing you from c that's also something to consider all right so let's get out here and see what's going on in C1. So in C1, there's something very important that you should know. You can actually contest the site from up the bridge. So behind the semi-truck is a interesting place. You also have lines of sight here as well. You can simply just contest the site before putting yourself into like great danger down there because the down there is just a wide open site again. There's really not much cover there. The only cover is this truck. So as soon as you get down, this truck and this container is gonna be the only covers that you have and i'm not gonna say playing here is bad most of the times when you get down here you're forced to play here because enemies are spawning from all over the place and all you can do is like stay here and defend you know this is rather a common place you don't want to be staying around for too long what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to push around here because it's going to make the enemies spawn just a bit far away and i'm just going to hold it from here so in my opinion this is a better place to be also if i'm going to let you know where they spawn usually it's just back there behind this truck under this bridge and just all the way in that desert so basically everywhere you look is a spawning position you can't just hold one or two uh, spots and just call it a day that's not the case for hourglass one thing is very important if you want safe passage between b and c there's this tunnel i see a lot of people not even using these tunnels and i have no idea why but that's their choice your choice has to be different than the average joe and what i say is if you don't have any business going up there like on the ground then the best place for you to be is being around here always keep that in mind let's take a look at b site b is very complicated in my opinion because well there are just basically two floors for this site. As soon as you get in here, in my opinion, the best place for you to consider both defending the site, capturing the site, and even killing people who come around is behind here. You're a, you're literally head glitched. Even for people that are in this small building, it's going to be really hard to hit you. I'm going to show you how. Let's take a look at this. Look how hard it is to hit someone with their head sticking out behind there. It's super hard. It's not going to be easy, really. So let's take a look back again like this. Super cool. Anyone pushing from here even won't be able to kill you because they don't really expect you to be here. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is being around here. This is also a good place. And you can also be on top of this small building right here. So I've never seen someone, anyone playing up here. I've never seen it. Like people don't usually do this for some reason. I don't know why, but they don't. But being around here, who's going to be able to kill you here? The answer to that question is literally nobody. It's really hard. For them even to see this, they're going to be shot. How the hell is someone up there? But yeah, it's easy. You come up here, top of this and boom, that's it. Also, this is a good covering place. The only problem is you're vulnerable to anyone up there. They're going to be killing you in no time. So for people who are playing up there and are head glitched, the only solution is being head glitched yourself. And this is the best head glitch I can speak of. This is it. Now I'm going to show you how cruel this is. Just take a look. Let me go up there. Imagine you're up here and someone's back there with their head 
popping out. I can't even see them. I can't even see the container probably. And that alone someone back there. So it's going to be really hard. If I'm in that situation, I'm going to be dead. Especially if that person behind there knows how to shoot, I'll be freaking dead. So this is a very interesting place to be if you know that there are people up there and people up there are trying to kill you and they're just peeking constantly. This is the perfect place for you to be. Also, a lot of times, like 80% of the times, people will spawn from here to defend the site. So if you're attacking, uh, you should be always aware of that. And this is an interesting place to be. Not a lot of people really expect anyone to be in this little truck here. And also behind a tank is another interesting place, just like this. So now looking up here, there's really not much going on. There's this small hole in the ground and nothing more. What you're going to do every time you come here is like try to circle here and carefully search for people who are down there. If you find someone, boom, kill them fast. That's going to be it. Most of the times people play here, here. I don't know why they think they're safe behind that or playing in between most of the times you don't see a lot of people playing there you're not going to be facing people there of course you're going to be using it yourself so always keep that in mind that red container is going to be a hell of a punch to anyone coming here and keep in mind that sometimes people get spawned from back there like under the structure that's something to consider sometimes that happens sometimes not but it never hurts to know right so going ahead and taking a look at a site as the final site that we have here a is a very interesting place there are buildings left and right and you have a choice here actually you can either play on top of the roof and have a small height advantage like this, or you can simply just get into these buildings with more cover. Like helicopters can't see you, people can't see you that much, tanks can't just hit you easily, and all those kind of stuff. What I do most of the times is I get up here and try to hold high ground. Because in my opinion, high ground in a in a site with little snow cover like this one is gonna be really important. Something you should always try to avoid is playing in between, like in the middle of here. You're gonna be an easy prey for literally anything for people people, infantry, vehicles, helicopters, all of it. So don't play around here for too long. Always be on the move, especially in A site. It's very important to not stay in one place for too long. And also this is a good place to, that you probably didn't know of, but it's better than nothing. It's, it's good to know that people can actually fit in there. I want to give you some general tips. Uh, the versatility of Hourglass is really impressive in my opinion. Literally anything you play has potential. Literally. If you play an LMG, you have potential. If you play like a sniper rifle, a DMR, you have long distances. If you play assault rifles, but it's a medium range weapon, it's perfect for medium range and you can easily enjoy yourself. If you play SMGs, there are a lot of close quarter combat in this map that can fit in. Anything you do in this map is going to be promoted like anything and that's what I really like about the reworked version of Hourglass the versatility is great but I myself always play either DMRs or probably assault rifles in this map and I really enjoy it so that's a tip I have for you and always try to be where the action is that's very important because the map is huge and if you don't do that you're gonna be confused and you're gonna confuse yourself to the point where you don't enjoy the map so always keep in mind that play where the action is so you don't have to do a lot of uh, going between the objectives and all those kind of stuff with all that said thank you guys all for watching hope you enjoyed the video and hope this was helpful if so do make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel because there will be more videos like this coming your way i have a special 2025 video for you that i'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy so stick around the channel news around the next battlefield game that are coming out will be covered in this channel everything about battlefield is going to be covered here so this is the place for you as a battlefield player until next time guys stay cool